<laughs> Good evening, guys. Welcome back to our channel. Hope you enjoy this one. All right, so eventually we got the shocks back in. Prepping the chassis now for the body to go on. Doing some polishing on the aluminium. We did that all nice. Bring up the gearbox. Yeah. Doing all the stuff we can get to right now before we get the body on. Anyway. Alright then, so now we've got the back shocks in, figured that out, drain holes here in the front, there was a little bit of oil coming out there so at least we know we've got oil in, I hope they bloody work properly, there's still the front one to go in, that one is going to mount there like that, and yeah, we've been polishing up all this stuff. And it turns out that is actually brass, which is amazing. So, yeah, we can still shine it up more, but it's we're just about ready for the body to go on. Ready for the body to go on, hopefully, tomorrow. I'm trying to scratch out all the right bolts and nuts and, yeah. So, there we go. Motor's looking really nice. Joel spent a lot of time on here today. All looking sweet. The front pipe there is still an issue, but maybe we're going to have that made. Put the air filters on. Still, there's still a lot of things that can be done, but I mean, where are we all going to end here now? I don't know. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think it looks cool. It looks cool. So there we go. Tomorrow, we'll come get the body on. It's going to be quite an interesting video. As well. uh, trying to get this thing ready to lift up. I'm going to crane this side. I'm going to support the carport with a pole. Another thing is now we're going to lift the front up and then the back and then roll the chassis underneath. Hopefully that's going to work. Let's just put some load on there and let's see what happens. Fuck it, mustn't fall eh? Anyway, that's the plan for now. Yep. Yep. Battling with this thing to get the body on here. My god. Anyway, we'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. Yep. Issue with the handbrake. We'll have to take the handbrake out and the pedals. Otherwise, we won't get it forward. Yep. This is what it is. Uh, what a uh, mission. Anyway, it's getting there. We still got to juggle a few things around. We have to take the pedals off again and. We we'll have to put those back on just now, so we've got brakes. We're almost, almost there. What a fucking, what a saga. At least you didn't damage any body work. But, um, yeah. Boy, oh boy. Interesting engineering. <laughs> That's for sure. My back's bugger now for the next two days. I know that. All right, so we're prepping the engine cowls. We haven't painted those yet. They're actually quite good. There is the side pieces. And this one had a couple of dents in it which we're filling. Ever so slightly. And then we'll have to prime it again and then paint them black. So yeah, that's the thing. Cool. <coughs> what, how much how much um oh, okay so we videoed the in I mean, videoed, <laughs> rubbed and finished the inside. Now we just got to prime again on the outside. And then we can go black. And once we go black, you can't go back. <laughs> anyway. Cool. 
They are the lost panels. We needed a bit of filling, another prime, and then tomorrow we'll spray them black. If the weather holds nicely, you know all the dust. Cool. Cat wants to get spray painted too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sweet. And of course, the sexiest car of them all is in the background there, isn't it? The red beetle. Hitler's Revenge. Outside primed again where it was filled. We don't want to have it all lumpy. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. Hmm? Uh, work on the work on the raw places first. Well, those things would look nice on the X ray six on the bonnet. Eh? Yeah. I wanted to do this on the X ray six. <laughs> yeah, and it also eliminates the problem of the heat and all of that. Have you got enough tools for that fusion? Hmm? Have you got enough for the fusion? Go inside there. Hey, you missed there. Yeah. It's gonna run now. You went. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Get the pipe. Gonna run, you Charlie. Edges, 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 edges. So now watch the door. Watch, close the gun. Close it. And you gotta think the car's walk there. So another nice day. Got the inside of the engine cowls done now. Got to use the weather while we can. It's looking quite nice, actually. So now, we just have to wait for nice weather to do the outsides as well. And then we're going to give the whole car another coat outside. So there the body is on the chassis. Lekker, lekker. See, and how's that gonna fucking work there? I know Mike is still figuring out <laughs> shit here. You see there, it's gonna be bolted somewhere there. I don't okay. think it belongs to this car though. No, well, we'll have to make it work. We, we have to weld on it or we bend it out a bit or yeah, something. We'll but brackets or something. Else yeah. to to Remember, this car had a wooden floor, no? Yeah, but this part, this looks like it was made up. I tried fitting this that part on the on the Mark IV, and it, 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 you couldn't you couldn't engage gear properly. So Mike, say out to the camera. Introduce yourself for a bit. Oh, you've been on so many videos, and so nobody the knows you. <laughs> <laughs> trying to fix up this whole thing. You must put your sign on, Mike's <laughs> garage. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Anyway. But the engine is nice and polished. No, we must still polish it more. I've got is it? Wheel. And the fan must be painted. And we still need to get that white pipe sorted. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna have that made. We're gonna get that made. But things are are coming together. So in the last video, I showed you this little piece of trim that I broke. We decided we're not gonna give up. So we pulled it off, like we learned on YouTube. We still have to take this one off, but then we discovered some some surface rust here. So I think I need to address that rather now, rather sooner than later. It is winter, it's raining, so we're not going to be driving her that much. And then while we're at it. We can maybe sort this out properly. I didn't do a very good job. I wrapped it, but yeah, it looks crap. And then 
This one is the one we found inside the boot. Um, it isn't in properly. Uh, I think they just stuck it in there. And there's a couple of LEDs broken. So we're going to take it out and try and fix it. And start fixing this car from back to front. And learn how to do some detailing while we're on it. Um, guys, like, subscribe, share, comment. <laughs> All those nice things. Hope you enjoy the show. W204 CDI motor. This little pipe here, it's the overflow for the diesel injectors. This is the third one I'm replacing. These freaking clips, they keep on breaking. It's the most flimsy thing I've seen. If there's anybody that knows a, a, a better way to to make this pipe, this return pipe, I would appreciate it. I can't keep on replacing this thing, man. Good day, guys. So we had the unfortunate event of some guy hitting me in the back and then pushed me into a guy in front of me. We've got some bumper damage, some grill damage, bonnet damage. And I think these these brackets behind the bumper is, is also broken. I felt some loose bits there yesterday. But I can't get the old bonnet open. So we'll still figure that out. You can see, so I was hit from behind. You can see the gap here. It's a lot wider at the top than at the back. So the back is lying down. So I was hit quite hard from behind. It bent the tow bar down and I think it might have damaged a bit of suspension in the back there but the insurance company will sort that out probably you can see there there's a, a kink and again here yeah, you can see the gap at the top is a lot wider than the bottom i don't think the damage is too bad but it is what it is We'll get this fixed. Um, I don't know if I must get the insurance to fix it or should I fix it myself. Uh, we'll keep you informed. Okay guys, so inspecting the bottom, you can see the bumpers cracked there. But yeah, the rest of the bumper is not looking too bad. I can fix it, but obviously inside here yeah, there's all kind of brackets that's missing, loose, broken. So we'll still inspect that, but the front accident wasn't too, too harsh. So we're not much concerned about the front. Uh, Everything still looks fine. My concern is, it's funny, it, it didn't uh, start on the day of the scene. Okay, so my exhaust is now blowing on my tailpipe. That's why that is wet, because it wasn't wet earlier. Uh, that doesn't look bad, but there, this part is kinked. So I don't think it's too bad. A couple of shims and we can align the boot again, the buck. And the same this side. 
nicely bent over there. But other than that, she looks fine. I must maybe just check the wheel, wheel alignment, put her down on the ground and measure, measure everything.